Red Bull Racing has no intention of putting the RB18's further development on hold. Helmut Marko, advisor of Red Bull, states that more upgrades will follow after the summer break, while he also indicates that Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez will face a grid penalty for an engine change in the second half of the season. What does this mean? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to the Max Verstappen Formula 1 channel, the best place for your dose of trending news and facts regarding Formula 1. Before we proceed, please hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell for more exciting updates. Let's have a look at what we can expect after the summer break. Red Bull Racing is an important player in the competition for both Formula 1 World Championships in 2022, just like it was last year. The team is comfortably in the lead in both championships. Last year, it was a very competitive battle with Mercedes, but this season, it looks like the battle is against the lagging Ferraris. Their closest competitor, Ferrari, appears to have the slightly faster car, but it has reliability issues more frequently, and so does the team and drivers Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. Max Verstappen, on the other hand, is leaving a lasting impression, which is supported by the fact that he currently leads the championship. The current situation looks good for Red Bull, and that seems to put a little less pressure on the development program for the RB18. Last year, the Austrian formation had to spend a long time developing the RB16B to help Verstappen towards the world title. At the time, it was feared this would come at the expense of the RB18, but that car has also proved excellent so far. Yet, Red Bull is not considering stopping further development of the current car in the short term. We are constantly developing. That's in the DNA of Red Bull Racing, said advisor Helmut Marko. They won't be very serious anymore, but deep into the second half of the season, we're going to bring updates to RB18. We'll have to wait for further details of those. Besides, the 2022 championship is not only about development speed, but also about minimizing as few grid penalties as possible for engine changes. Ferrari has already had both drivers pick up a grid penalty for exceeding the maximum number of engine components that can be used in a season. Leclerc and Sainz are expected to run into such an engine penalty again later this year, but Marco stresses that the same is true for Verstappen and Perez. That's going to happen to us as well. We simply have to pick a circuit where you can overtake relatively well, the Austrian acknowledges. He hints that the first races after the summer break in Belgium and Italy might be suitable for that. If you look at the upcoming races, we will definitely be at a circuit that we have chosen. An engine change like that does not necessarily mean a grid penalty for Verstappen. He has used a maximum of two units of all components so far, which means that an engine change does not have to result in a grid penalty. It actually gives Red Bull two options for the races immediately after the summer break. One is to grab a new engine for Verstappen at Spa without a grid penalty and go all out to win in Belgium and Italy, two circuits that should suit Red Bull well due to their top speed this year. The second option is to take a grid penalty in one of the two races, although it will require the same approach as Ferrari, taking new parts at different times to get as many components into the pool as possible. Furthermore, we can of course expect the battle between rivals Verstappen and Leclerc to continue after the summer break. Ferrari driver Charles Leclerc is not giving up on his title dream just yet. The Monegasque realizes that it will be very difficult to beat Max Verstappen this year, but he refuses to give up. Leclerc said, Reliability has been a problem this year, and we have thrown away a lot of points. We have to learn from that. Hopefully, this will not happen again the rest of the year. Then a lot is still possible. I remain positive about the rest of the year. If we win all the races and Verstappen finishes second everywhere, we can still win the title. I trust myself to be able to do that, even if it's a challenge. Let's see how it goes. It's obviously a very, very optimistic goal, but I don't want to look at it negatively anymore. Checo, on the other hand, has given up hope for the title. For a while, Perez had hope of competing for the championship this season, but now he seems to have settled for a role as second driver in the service of Red Bull Racing again. This can be concluded from the words of Helmut Marko. Perez started the season unevenly, but quickly worked his way up to become a solid force alongside Max Verstappen. During the Spanish Grand Prix, this caused the first friction, after Perez received team orders to let Verstappen pass. In Monaco, the Mexicans struck right back by taking the win. From that moment on, Red Bull confirmed that Perez was no longer the second driver behind Verstappen, and Christian Horner and Marco let it be known that Perez was free to fight for the world title. However, this role has now been played out. It seems when we hear Marco's words, according to Braz, Perez is no longer fighting with Verstappen. Marco suggested with his words that Perez now knows his place in the Red Bull racing team, behind Verstappen. 
That's why it's perfect to have Sergio Perez as a teammate. Checo doesn't try to fight, but does everything he can that can lead to a victory, just like last season in Baku. Those two work very well together, he said. How do you think the season will start after the summer break? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel to not miss anything related to Formula 1. See you guys in the next video. Bye!